the real fact of it is that that 18 point something has already been spent it's not something that is planned to be spent i don't know some of you don't even read the news too well like when i saw the comments on the free post on instagram people were saying i hope this money is going to be used for what it's meant to be blah 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 you guys really don't know why this news is out here now but i'm going to be giving you the idea behind why you are even knowing about this 18 point something billion that has been spent so i'll be getting into the news to share with you some details i have discovered i'm so sorry that this video is a little bit longer than expected but i tried to keep my videos with 10 minutes 15 minutes but this might be longer than that because of the details i pay attention to and the people i'm talking about in this video <music> It is very intentional by the group in RCCG, the charity group or would I say the charity section called the His Love Foundation that they are coming out public with this and I'll share with you the intention that is behind it so you get to understand. So the 18 billion that we are talking about or you have known about before is not like a pledge of money that is going to be spent. It is money that has been spent over the course of three years like i have seen right here on my research and i'm yeah you could see the pictures on your screen of the church rccg carrying out what is called in short form acronym csr the csr there means christian social responsibility you know in a, a business we looked at a video where i shared with you guys why church itself is business most times businesses or establishments are expected by the government to perform what we call corporate social responsibility you understand but in this case here this is christian social responsibility as the rccg has it and talking about oyedepo in the same breath you know based on my research let me just show you as you can see on your screen i went to rccg's website and i could see a section where they have you know the home who we are what we do online because i whatever i say here on this channel is based on what i can see on the internet or what the facts that are there online okay and i could i could see that based on the sections they have here they have a section they call the rccg csr online giving testimony um um coastline worship center house fellowship leadership program pastor ea Deboe's podcast and all so they have a section on their website that talks about or that leads you to knowing what they have been doing with regards to them giving or would i say having some social responsibility to the public at least we get to know that something is going on of course we know that churches themselves are not supposed to pay taxes according to how we have the order of the world today but of course, if they are businesses, they should be paying taxes. But that aside, what you have to understand here is that I could see a clear difference from their website, the RCCG website, and the website of the Living Faith Church. I could not see anywhere you could search for yourself. All I could see here is Home, About Us, Media Center, Wolf B, Christian Family, Downloads, Education, Contact Us, and Give Online. But I couldn't see anything that shows their Christian social responsibility. So if you're watching me right now, and you are a winner's chapel member or you are yes of course a winner's chapel member please do tell me in the comments what form of christian social responsibility your church engages in because if, if i can hear your papa say things like this listen my wife and i are involved here and there but there is no involvement that we ever match our connection to the source never forever because that is the only place that guarantees the continuous flow. He shall guide his affairs with discretion. He shall guide his affairs with discretion. He shall guide his affairs. Now listen to me. Imagine someone helping the needy and not paying his tithe. He will soon become one of the needy. How many understand what I'm talking about? He will soon become one of the needy. Imagine someone despising all kingdom promotion opportunities. It only gives me the idea that some way, somehow, giving to the poor may not really be priority right there in your church, logically speaking. Because I've listened over time, I've made a couple of videos about the utterances he has made and I've got to analyze most of them. And if the whole idea that giving to the needy, instead of you paying your tithe in no time, you also become a needy person. I wonder the priorities we pay to the people that are less privileged in our church or in our community. That is if I am a winner's member. Now, what I'm saying right here now is not in any way 
way to defame any church at all not at all but i'm speaking based on the things i'm seeing online and based on the utterances of your leader okay now listen or watch this right now and tell me what you think about it so we never put a dime in rural church building one dime even in their village in front of their house one dime so you brought in much and it became little you are wages you have holes punched in there why because of my house that lies in ruin and you run everyone to his own house somebody said to me the lord told him to put a seed of one billion in the ark it's in this church it's not from america or jamaica and i knew where he was there are some sir, they would rather die than give one billion if god gives them 100 billion today they won't let one billion go they won't this is how they will hold it your life or your money take everything imagine it so how would they get there because once you can see it you can get it now i don't know if you listen to that keenly like i do listen of course you get monies in billions people can actually give billions of naira to you for the ark or for the church wonderful you have rich people in your church that means for people for you to have billionaires in your church doesn't mean that his statement over here would imply that he doesn't care about those that give one kobo two kobo one naira two naira let's keep quiet all these certain people we are holding your pocket like this, it's not the way out. But I know somebody's released right now. Are- oh, maybe it now makes sense why pastors would be sacked anytime they are being seen as being unfruitful according to him. So what point am I even driving at in all of this? I'm going to be reading to you some Christian social responsibility that Adeboye engages in based on what is online. But first of all, before getting to that, I noticed something really interesting that on channel's website, the post of RCCG's activity, the RCC, like the post of their activity, which is something that has been reacted to by the freeze and the rest of them on social media is actually sponsored so they had to pay channels tv to post about this on their website so i was now asking my quest myself this question why would they pay channels tv to make this public because if channels tv could carry it of course many other blogs would carry it then i was now thinking to myself if you notice this 18 point something billion i cannot verify or say that okay based on this data this data this data they actually spent this of course churches will not come and display the accounts on social media for you to know how much has actually been spent over the course of three years in the things that have been engaged in all we are seeing here is that we are seeing a figure of 18 point something billion the number of people that have been impacted which i'll be reading for you to see and I'm asking myself, okay, is it do they did they really spend 18 point something billion in charity? I don't know. But as a church, we have to believe everything they say. So I would say thank you very much, Pastor Ia Deboye and the entire Redeemed Christian Church of God. This is something really amazing, and I must say it's very commendable. But moving further, I now ask myself a question. The whole idea of why this had to come public is because of a catch, which I think if, you will, if you're a logical person, you would understand. They now want to raise more monies to continue in this particular activity that has been going on for the past three years. That is, This is now where Maureen comes in because I was watching Maureen's blog where she was having a live because most of her videos, it's not like me that I sit down and make videos edit them and post and then i go to bed you guys watch anytime she actually comes live online and interacts with the audience i hope i'm able to get to that point very soon but you know i still have to maybe make a little sum of money from the ads to get my gears up to that point of doing live sessions so that i can also get to hear from you yourself as you see me and i ask questions and some of you that are members of this church can answer me and make me have clarity but as you can watch as you're watching this video right now it's a one-way thing so i may not be correct in everything i say but of course i present to you facts coming to the main subjects right now it is important that you know the way they now want to raise this crowdfunding which is the target which is the main thing now is the idea of people having to pay twelve thousand or maybe a thousand a month which is going to add to the pool of monies they need to continue this activity that i've been doing for a period of time of which i have spent over 18 point something billion already you understand so they have now talked about the insurance companies are working with which i think the package itself is really amazing that if you become a partner with them in this 
you get you know life insurance and according to the details i am seeing right here on social media or would i say on channels tv for you if if you pay that money within for a period of a year if you die or something you get a million naira um if you have permanent disability out due to accidents you get a million naira and then if you have maybe a critical medical condition you get hundred thousand naira okay so anyone that supports or gets in with this crowdfunding which is towards the activity for charity you get all of these benefits attached to it of course you will not pay such money and expect that something bad would happen to you of course if you are giving such amount of money to the church twelve thousand or a thousand or one thousand naira a month to a great extent you are giving it wholeheartedly that you want to really see them you know use the money to help the poor but that is why they had to come with a track record of what they had been doing is the records they have there true or not true just does not know but i have to believe the fact that this is coming from a church and they have to show you how far they've gone so for the period of three years they have spent 18 point something billion naira in and based on what i can see right here on the internet okay it reads here that after impacting over one so i don't know if you understand what i said with regards to correcting uh um uh, that a fridge is not a pledge of monies they are about to spend these monies have already been spent and according to the news here after impacting over 130 million people spending 18.4 billion on series of csr activities covering the six points of concern of the foundation so i had to now go to the rccg website and i'm seeing there are six point of concern here i, I think our the redeemed christian church of god is pretty much amazing in this aspect which please 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 if you're a winners member and you have details or if you have a website of what your papa does with regards to such activities because i think he's one of the richest right now in the world and looking at the way he talks about money and talks about tithing and talks about the whole which i think selman copied this whole mentality from him please do tell me too because i want to say positive things about men of god as well because i'm not here to defame anyone but actually to talk to you with facts okay so looking at their cardinal point of responsibilities we have social enterprise rehabilitation the activities in the prisons hunger health and education so these are the cardinal points which they're dealing so the education they give scholarships health we do look at the dialysis centers they have provided and all of that hunger they have about 22 feeding centers in lagos alone based on what they have there on the social media and also the prisons like i just mentioned now and a couple of other things so all within this particular six points here which i think is really good so when men of god are doing things good like this or when churches are doing good things like this i think it's worth talking about okay but we have to understand the context for what it really is because if i search on google right now the videos i see is that of that the fridge which i think to a great extent there is a little bit of misinformation right there the 18 point something billion has already been spent have did they really spend that within the course of three years and feeding the whole thing that i've been doing which i could see a lot of data so please go on their website you can see all of this information i'm talking about based on what they have been doing okay i told you guys in the live stream that when you come to this part of me talking about all of the good things that maybe utterances that men of god make or the positive things and all that i have to be the one finding it myself but i can't find anything with regards to papa or yedepo right here okay so your website doesn't include that if you're a member of winners so i think you have to tell me that if there is something like that but if there is none of course the understanding i might be having about his person and a couple of other things would still remain what they are but to a great extent like i always tell you guys i don't know who is real or fake i only talk based on facts and facts only